So my uh, 50th birthday is come and gone, and uh, I was on my way out the door uh, about a week after my, my 50th birthday, and um, I pick up this letter out of the mailbox. I'm going to read it for you quickly. It's from Ontario Health. It says, I am writing to invite you, I'm reading straight from it, I'm writing to invite you to get checked for colon bowel cancer. Colon cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths in Ontario. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, doing an easy test called the fecal immune, immunochemical test. And so immediately I, re I remembered from the commercials that you that this is one of those things where you got to poo in a box. And then I, I look at the back because I really wanted like, I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of time at this moment. So I'm like, oh, visit, visit your family doctor. You get your free test in the mail. Got it. All right, cool. So first of all, as soon, I got to poop in a box, and it's not going to cost me anything. That's all I really understood at that point. That's all I really paid attention to. Now I had to focus on driving, and uh, I'll take you through the funhouse mirrors of thoughts, funhouse mirror of thoughts that uh, uh, ran through my head at that point in time. So first of all, I thought, okay, so I've got a poo in a box. Now there has to be some kind of like a lining in this box, doesn't there? Otherwise it would like, you know, seep out through the seams or get absorbed by the, the cardboard. So I figured there has to be some sort of a lining. Then immediately I thought of like a Ziploc. You know, there, there, you must be like, put your poo in a Ziploc. Because really, there's nothing like a Ziploc if you want to keep fresh. Now, I had to learn how to uh, edit the swear word out before uh, uh, putting this out there. And I'm saying all this before I actually do the editing. So I hope I did a pretty good job. Um, so anyway, that was my first thought. Okay, so I got to poo in a bag and then send it through the mail, which didn't really make me feel very comfortable. Um, I really don't want to send my poo through the mail. and But if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have some fun with it. So I thought, what if I eat? A diet of like you know cabbage baked beans chili and whatnot just the most outrageous things before I actually poop in this bag that goes in this box right and then send it to them I mean they're probably gonna come back with something like well you know you don't have colon cancer but you really need to change your diet which <laughs> which would be totally reasonable um, the next thing I thought of was okay so what if I got like a little toy from the dollar store and like buried it in the poo and and like made it like a, a poo kinder surprise you know like i wouldn't get this thing back obviously they wouldn't send it back to me but i mean wouldn't it be a lot of fun for them to just you know i could just imagine them just digging through the poop and then like finding this this thing you know maybe like a a, a plastic soldier or or something um <laughs> i just thought that that would be really funny um, then I, then the thought occurred to me, this is the evolution of thought. Um, then the thought occurred to me, it's like, how valuable would something be, have to be before they would actually send it back? Like, what if I put out my wedding ring or something like that? You know, like, would they actually go, oh, this is valuable. He might want this back and then like, send it back. Or would they send the whole sample back and say, oh, it's contaminated. We can't use this. And then I'd have to poo again and then send it to them. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It was at that point that I started doing a little bit of research and then realized it's just a test in a kit. And you basically, um, you do the test, either do the test at home or uh, put dip a test stick into your poo and then seal it up and then send it uh, as, as a test stick and then send it off to the lab. Uh which that just totally destroyed all my fun. I, I I was having a lot of fun with this, and then they just totally like pfft, the facts just came in came in on me and uh, totally ruined my whole my whole day because I was gonna have some fun with this. Um, <laughs> if I got a poo in a box, I'm gonna make this interesting, right? Uh, then I met up with a friend today, and he says, well, you, "Now you got to do this every two years." which is something that once I read the letter, it's clearly in the rest of the letter, but I still haven't completely unpacked the entire letter and, and read it from word for word, you know, like front to back to really kind of um, understand the whole thing. 
I am going to get this done, though, because I think it's really important to test for colon cancer. I think any test that they have to, to prevent cancer or prevent anything, for that matter, um, I think it's really important. So I, I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. But I just wanted to take you on this uh, roller coaster ride of thought that uh, that I had as soon as I got this. And it was just funny because, like, it, it comes into effect just as I turn 50. And, uh, you know, it, it, <laughs> 50 comes. And interesting point. It is dated for March the 2nd, which is exactly one week after I turned 50. So you know somebody was sitting in the office going, Oh, do I send it to him now? Do I send it to him now? No, 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 no. Wait a week. Let him enjoy 50 for a week before we totally ruin his day. You know, um, <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I thought I'd take you along for the ride uh, that, I, that I had mentally. So you don't send poo through the mail. Although... That did leave me with one last question. Can you, if you were to, to so choose, can you send poo through the mail? Um, when I contacted uh, Canada Post, they were a little bit unclear about it. But basically the guidelines are that it has to be, uh, uh, it has to be sealed and packaged properly. Um, it can't contaminate anything else that's that may be in the mail bag or or in the shipment. Um, it can't there can't be an erroneous smell, and uh, it can't be biologically infectious. So as long as it meets those requirements, uh, there's nothing that I can see that would prevent you from sending poo through the mail. Now, also from a legal perspective, um, it, intentions count. So if you're sending poo to somebody through the mail that may not think it's so darn funny, um, you might want to think twice about that. You could be legal. You could be opening your up, opening yourself up to uh, legal harassment. Um, but if you send it to somebody and they think it's hilarious, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Just make sure you know if you're going to do something like that. And I'm not advocating that you do. All right, I'm actually saying probably a good idea. Don't. You know, send a picture of poo if that's what you want to do. Um, but, <laughs> but like, really sending your own poo through the mail is probably a, a, a very risky uh, thing. But do know that there is nothing saying that you cannot send poo through the mail as long as it's properly packaged, doesn't, doesn't make an erroneous smell, doesn't contaminate anything else, and is not infectious. Um, and you're not trying to harass somebody with it. Because if, if anyone can even interpret it as harassment, you're opening yourself to, to criminal harassment. Uh, and you don't definitely don't want to do that. Anyhow, um, that's all I have for today. Thanks for coming along me, with me on this, uh, this ride. And I'll, I'll talk to you later on. I'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.